Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. Today, we'll be taking a look at Star Trek The Next Generation, Mirror Broken, number three from IDW Publishing. So stay tuned. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the ISS Enterprise. Its continuing mission, to conquer strange new worlds, to enslave new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no one has gone before. We open aboard the ISS Enterprise D in its shuttle bay. Riker and his crew are standing at attention in their dress uniforms, awaiting the arrival of Captain Jellico to take command of the ship. Jellico is a harsh, arrogant captain, demanding only the best from his crew. So much so that when one of his crewmen didn't have his tunic properly pressed, he had him drug away for retraining. Jellico has a high priority meeting as soon as he takes command. The meeting is with Dr. Beverly Crusher, the best damn triage doctor in the entire empire. Jellico requested her personally because there will be many casualties in the service of their mission, and it's Crusher's job to heal them and keep them fighting. Before leaving, Jellico makes a threat toward Wesley. If he gets in the way of your duties, or keeps this crew from getting the best care, well, let's just say I'd hate for him to have any accident. The Enterprise is a large and dangerous place for a child. The Enterprise is finally preparing to launch. It's staffed with a partial crew of 200, which is perfect for Picard's invasion force of 150. The Stargazer's shuttle bay has been converted into one giant transporter. Barkley and his team have sabotaged the Stargazer to ensure it will be left behind with no engines or weapons. Those who didn't pass the Inquisitor's scans will be left behind. The crew of the Enterprise will join Picard or die. There will be no prisoners. With very little problems and only four casualties, Picard and his team are able to effortlessly take command of the Enterprise. Angelico is escorted to the brig by Data. It's here that Barclay and Data have a quick word with Riker. You see, Picard's life is protected. A man in Riker's position, flush with a recent victory, might suddenly find himself overcome with ambition. If something were to happen to the captain, his loyalists would be forced to assume that the officer on board most likely to gain from the disappearance was responsible, and they would be forced to respond accordingly. It's here that we see Data at his most badass moment so far. Riker says to Data, Of all things I might have expected from you, the last would be loyalty. What the hell kind of android are you? To which Data responds, I am still discovering that for myself, Commander. Test me, and we will both find out together. Picard visits Crusher and asks if he can trust her. But according to Beverly, they haven't spoken in years. They weren't even on good terms then. And there was never a full investigation into Jack's death. Why should she turn on the Empire and join a band of mutineers? Picard walks over to Wesley, who appears to be somewhat out of it. Almost as if he's kind of autistic. You can drop the act anytime you like, Wesley. Jellicoe may be a fool, but I never have been. At that, Wesley stiffens up. He's been acting the entire time. It's Wesley who talks his mom into joining Picard. You see, he scanned the profiles of the entire crew as soon as they took command. Picard's crew are the most capable in the entire Empire, and the only crew who are capable of standing against the Cardassians and the Klingons. In the most badass moment for Picard so far, he has Data bring Jellico to the shuttle bay where Picard says to him, Consider yourself dismissed. Just before the command crew leaves Jellico alone in the bay, Picard disables the force field and sends Jellico out into space to die. Personally, I felt this was a great issue. Both Data and Picard had some very badass moments, and they didn't even have to break a sweat. Looking at IDW Publishing's website, it says issue number four became available in August, but also states the issue itself isn't available on their website at this time, and to visit your local retailer. But looking on Comixology, it doesn't seem to have it listed in its catalog as being for sale, but is available for pre-order. And according to this, 
its print and digital release will be October 11th, 2017. So here's its synopsis. The Enterprise-D is finally under the command of Jean-Luc Picard, and he's on the hunt for enemy warships, looking to strike back for Earth. But Picard's crew will find themselves under attack from both sides, as the Empire will stop at nothing to regain its secret weapon. There you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Come Again TV, where we took a look at Star Trek The Next Generation, Mirror Broken number three. I really enjoyed it. I'm really digging this series. I can't wait for issue number four to come out in October. We may break with our horror-themed October reviews uh, as soon as this comes out, just so that we can review Mirror Broken number four. Have a happy October, guys. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Take care. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Come Again, where all geek culture collides.